<laughs> really nice. <laughs> Give me a drink. <laughs> hey there, everybody. Welcome back to Cambo Trout Fishing. So what you're going to see today is part one of what's going to be a three-part series for a three-day, two-night kayak camping trip and lots of fishing on the Rapidan and Rappahannock Rivers in Fredericksburg, Virginia. And it's going to break down like this. In part one, I'll give you an intro of the trip. You're going to see a lot of fish caught. I'll pass on some tips about the gear and techniques. I'll pass on some other tips when it comes to navigating the different waters you're going to experience out here, a little bit of safety. And then you'll see the campsite that we arrive at for the night. That's going to be at the confluence of the Rapidan and Rappahannock Rivers. And man, when I say we lucked out with the weather overnight, just being completely immersed in the sounds of nature and the peace out there. God, it's some of the most beautiful water I've ever fished. I cherish so much going back here every year and spending time with my brother and the rest of my friends and crew out here on the water. In part two and three of this series, you'll see a lot more fish caught, of course. I'll even do some work with kayak re-entry. And at the very end, in part three of the series, what I'm going to show you will be an overview of the put-in points, campsites, and takeout point, as well as covering the kayak rigs that I was using, the different pieces of equipment, what I find so appealing about them and useful about them out here on this trip, and the overall layout of my kayak and gear. If you enjoy this video, if it makes you want to go and hit these waters, and then you go and you do plan your own trip, remember what makes this place special. It's the fact that you can hardly see any signs of human impact out here. So, the only thing I ask in return for all the tips, action, and scenery I'm going to pass on to you is that if you make this trip for yourself, please, please, please take care of this place. Whatever you pack in, make sure you pack out. Don't take anything more than what you need from this environment. And that way, we can keep it being the magical experience that it is. But alright folks, that's enough talking from me. Let's go ahead and get to part one, day one, of this three-day, two-night kayak, camping, and fishing trip on the Rapidan and Rappahannock Rivers. Hi, Alex. <laughs> Look at that clear water. Now, I promised you a quick intro for the first leg of this journey. So here it is. The first leg over here is on the Rapidan River. It's about a seven or eight mile float downstream to the confluence of the Rapidan and Rappahannock Rivers. What you essentially have to do is identify your put-in point and your takeout point, and then stage vehicles as necessary with your friends. So that's just a quick note right there. But like I said, I'll get into more of the logistics probably in episode three of this series. For right now, let's get to this beautiful scenery. Ooh. There we are. There we are. Nice one. Nice fish. Oh, he had a buddy too. Yeah, he had a nice buddy, man. Shoot. Come here, beautiful. That's a good way to start the trip, y'all. That is a good way to start the trip. Look at that. Hey, now. Hey now, buddy. God, I love smallies, bro. They fight so well. Just never say die. Come here. Uh -uh. Come here. Uh -oh. <laughs> Come here, you rascal. Yeah, 100% he had one just about this size. Right with him. Now, folks, that right there is the banjo minnow. <laughs> Probably one of the only, you know video commercial lures to ever really be worth a darn. But over the years, I have caught some good, really good fish on this. That's about a, I don't know, 14 inch or so. Let's get the bump board and check. Come here, little buddy. Oh, close your mouth. Close your mouth. Oh no, she's about 15 and a half. 15 and a half. Let's get a picture. Get you back in the water. There she is, folks. First fish of the trip. Beautiful fish. So let's see the camera to focus on her. About a 15 and a half, and again, that's on the banjo minnow. <laughs> you can hardly find those anymore. 
Thanks, buddy. We go on now. Whenever you're ready. Come on. There you go. And she's off strong. Oh, buddy. It is gorgeous out here. It's like when that thing hit the water, there was a big splash like five feet off. Maybe like 10 feet off, actually. And in my head, I was like, I wonder if that was a bass kicking off to grab it. And sure enough, it was. I, I kept reeling. I couldn't find my freaking lure because he was running with it. I tell you what else, I might actually do some swimming out here, man. I might, if I ever stop fishing. <laughs> there we go. Frank's on. Yeah, get him, bro. Hold on to him now. <laughs> Stay pinned, big boy. Oh, he gulped it. Come here. Come on, get on in here. Get on. Oh boy. Oh, somebody fighting him. I'd love it, dude. God, I love smallies. <laughs> oh, man. It was a real soft take, too. Yeah, I mean, the, oh. take, the take that I had, I didn't feel. Yeah. Oh, boy, that's a big boy there. There you go. No, no, not my <laughs> <laughs> There he is. That's a good guy. It's all beat up in the That's probably from spawning, now. Yep. That's what I saw on mine, too. Got you, dude. Real aggressive, man. Uh, yeah. Away. So I've been seeing a lot of them that size cruising around. Now another quick tip for you here. As you're floating down the river, <laughs> make sure you keep an eye out on your rods and how you have them positioned in your kayak. So if you're not careful, you end up in a fight with a tree trying to steal your rods. <laughs> Just do your best to keep an eye out for them and avoid having a tree steal your rod because sometimes you won't even notice until you're miles downriver. You didn't bring any goggles, did you, bro? Now, normally when I go on this trip, I do bring a face mask or goggles because when you have this water nice and clear here, you can get some awesome underwater video. And it's just so much fun swimming with the fish down there too. The suckers, the catfish, the carp, the shad, tons of them. Yeah, and here's first largey of the trip. Not a big one, but a pretty little bass. <laughs> there she is. Thanks, little bud. Little chunker. Oh, yeah? Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, I've lost the tape Oh, look at those jumps. Oh, boy. What do you think? You should probably go 15, 16 for sure. No, I threw on the cooler at 16. Yep. Throw on the board real quick. Yeah. And camera. Come here, camera. How's that look? Uh-oh. No, hold on. Rod at you. I appreciate it, Steve. There we go. All right, I'll move these over. Okay. okay. I got you, bro. All right. Come on, bro. Look up, huh? There we go. Got her, dude. Awesome, man. Thank you, sir. All right, beauty. Appreciate it. Go be free. Let's see what she wants to do here. She's going to hang out. Uh-oh. I'm trying to steal your rod. My paddle is. <laughs> Come on. Come on, take a nap. Dude, I literally just went like this. Just flicked it on the top of her, and she was just like... Now I'll go into more detail on the rigging of my kayak, everything I packed with me on this trip. I'll go through a lot more detail on that in the final installment in this three-part series. But suffice it to say, you got to fit everything you need. Sleeping bag, hammock, tent, food, drinks, changes of clothes, all that stuff. you got to fit all that in your kayak or your canoe, whatever craft you're taking down this river. So I really had to concentrate on one of my things that I'm not very good at. That's packing light, because <laughs> we're not fishing. I like to have everything with me just in case. But if you're lucky, you might have a guy like Frank out here who's gonna give you some extra lures when you're out there on the water. They hide it, man. We gotta... Oh, that was nice. Uh, that was perfect timing, dude. <laughs> yeah, we gotta go into like super stealth mode this time, man. Yup.
There we are. There we are. I'm on. Nice largey. Nice largey. Yeah. Sweet jump, buddy. I do love my river bass. Come here, you. A decent fight for a largemouth. Not for a smallie, but for a largey. <laughs> I do love the patterns on these rivers, largemouth. They come out so clean in this nice clear water. Might have just had another bite. Let's get back to it. Thanks, bud. Whenever you're ready. Come on. Come on. You good? There you go. All right, let's see if we can make it through here without dragging across too badly. We are awfully heavy right now. I'm just looking and scanning for that deep water. As I said here, what I'm doing is I'm going ahead and I'm scanning for the deeper water. Because with the gauge height on this particular trip being down around the two foot mark, what that means is you're going to be dragging a lot out here. And you'll see it later in the video me dog walking my kayak because <laughs> when that gauge height gets but so low around that two foot mark, that's when you really start having to drag across those rocks. You already fish here? There's a fish. A little smally. That shady area over there, a little bit deeper water. That'll hold him. Fish on, I'm catching up to him. <laughs> Come here, little guy. Come here, little guy. Ooh. Holy crap. Son of a... Ah. I just spooked a really good hole, man. I had one little small one grab it. He just happened to be the first to get to it. And two big ones came charging out after it, but I couldn't stop myself in time. Missed out on a good catch there. I'm going to give him a minute to settle and see if that helps. <laughs> there we are. Oh, there's one with him that's even bigger. Let me see if I can. Here, get this one. Get this one. Get this. He went to your side, bro. Nice fish. This faster water has really bumped up the number for population density, man. I'm seeing a lot more smallies now. Nice little 12 inch or so. Thanks, bud. Darn it, I thought I was recording. Son of a gun. I watched him come from the side. He already made a great jump. Man, I wish I'd had a recording. I thought for sure I did. Come here. Come here, Butte. Now we're getting into them, folks. Now we are getting into them. We got in this faster water right here, and pretty much every pocket it seems like has a small in it. Every pocket, every eddy. Come here. Come on. Come on. There you go. I got you that time. Look at that. Beautiful fish. I'd estimate and say 16. We'll bump order in a second. Let's see. She'll come in at, yep, 16 and a quarter. 16 and a quarter. Put you in the water while I grab my camera. Now, this water out here, this kind of pocket water with all these eddies, and it's faster. This is the fastest stretch of water we've been able to find probably in the last, I don't know, hour or so. And since we did that, the population density for the smallies has gone off the charts. You beauty. Thank you. She's off strong. 
I've seen some today, you know, every bit of 18, 20 inches. I've seen some quality fish. But, <laughs> trying to get those ones. Hasn't worked out as I hoped, because we keep spooking them. And once those big ones know you're there, oof, your chances of getting them are so slim. Boy, it's slim. But yeah, that last one, man, I thought I had the camera running. I got the wasp swim over. I put the lure right in this path. You don't cast on a fish when you see a, swim, a smallie swimming like that. You don't cast on them. You cast into their path. And that's exactly how I got that one. I put it in this path and slurped it up. Crazy awesome jump off the hook set too. I just, I gotta keep my camera running. <laughs> Gosh darn it. Something else we ended up seeing a lot of out here were spawning gar. Now these are long nose gar right here, I believe. But yeah, we saw a lot of them. This time of year, you'll find them paired up in this river, getting ready to do their dance. Really nice one. Let's see if I can save this other hole. I'll take this by some in that tree too. Come here, beauty. Come here, beauty. Oh god, he's strong. He's strong. pull me into every other hole here. That's the fish of the day so far, folks. That is fish of the day so far. Strong fish. Yeah. Like I said before, when you see them cruising, put it ahead of them. A little ways ahead of them. What a fish. Hey Frank! Let's see, how big are you? Close that mouth. 16 and a half. Ah. Now, when the smallies get stressed, their patterns just explode. What a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful fish. Look at that. Thank you, gorgeous. Mwah. Thank you. Whenever you're ready. There she goes. <laughs> I got a small mouth, but it's nowhere near as big as that one. Oh, and I'm all around the tree. Fudge. Why you gotta take me through the Oh, he's got one chasing him too. Let me see something. Let me I'm gonna see if I can double up real quick. Double up. Oh, oh he bit it! He bit it and I missed him! Eat it. Oh! He's, he's still hanging out with the other one I got wrapped up in this bush or this tree. Uh, I didn't realize he still had one hook. Yeah. I, he might have just got off, maybe. I'm not sure. Yeah, like they're looking for Ben and Tom. Oh, you're gonna swim right in front of me like that? What a. D he just swam right in front of me. Hey, bro. Right here. I'm pointing at him. You see him? Going down, coming to you? Coming to the tree. Yep. He is amped up trying to get this lure from this guy. I swear to God. All right, buddy. Let's get you off this hook. Yeah, this rock that's right in front of me with the overhang, like he's, ch he's chasing my guy right here. Every time I get close enough, the wind pushes me right back out. He's coming right at you, coming right at you. On the left, see him? Yeah, oh, he's looking right at it. Oh, if I wasn't here, you would have had him, bro. If I wasn't here and hooking this fish, you would have had him. He's, uh... Here we go, folks. It's not the big one, but it's a nice one. All right, folks, there's that one. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. When you're ready. Go on. Go on. All you got to do is let go of my thumb. I'm not holding you. Take your time, though, when you're ready. He's back again? Yeah, he's like just hanging out over there. Oh, there he goes. I see him. There we go. Oh man, he got a really good look at it. <laughs> yeah. 
He was thinking about it hard, bro. He bit my fluke. Let's do that. Well, folks, I have good news and bad news. <laughs> the good news is there's a lot more fishing action to come. You get a shot of the campsite and just some absolutely gorgeous water out here. The bad news, though, <laughs> we're already at the 20 plus minute mark on the first leg of this three day trip. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead and stop it here for today. And then on Monday, I'm going to have the second half of this first day ready for you. So if you haven't already, make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you're subscribed and make sure you ring that bell so you have notifications on for when I post the second half of this first day of this three day trip. And again, that'll be on Monday. So I hope you've enjoyed it so far. Lots more to come. Thanks for watching, y'all. Good luck this weekend on the water. And given that right now it's June 30th, happy early 4th of July. Have a good one, y'all.